So several years ago when I got started in driftwood uh, sculpture, I decided I need to take a sharpening class because we, we work with some unique tools. So I took a class um, at Woodcraft with uh, Billy Baugh. And what he drew up on the wall was this word sharpening, and he spelled it with two P's. And he told us that the two P's stood, one stood for patience and one stood for practice. Whichever sharpening tool you use that gets your tool sharp enough for you to use, those are the right tools for you. My basic toolkit is a diamond stone about 600 grit, a cone diamond, um, a fish hook diamond stone and then a super fine, this is probably around 1200 grit um, diamond stone. Other elements of my kit are a file for getting out the larger nicks uh, out of your your tools, um, a sharpie to help you determine where you've been, and then the final portion of this is the two honing straps. And on the honing straps what you also require is um, a little honing powder. In this case, this is a uh, yellowstone, and it's, it's a lovely pink color. This is a router. It's a round blade with one edge that is sharp. And this is one of the most common tools that we have. This is a tool that can be sharpened on both sides, but we don't want to do that because when you go to scrape like this, um, you will cut your finger. So, to properly sharpen this, on all diamond stones you need to have a little water. That's the proper way to use a diamond stone, so you just kind of spread it out. If my fingerprint ridges catch on the edge of the sharpness, I, I know that, that that's pretty sharp, but if my fingerprint ridges do not catch, um, it's pretty dull. This flat part here at the very top is called the shoulder. This part here is called the edge, and then the very sharp edge is called the point. So what we do is we, sharp, we uh, darken the edge so it can tell us where we've been when we do the sharpening. Now each of these routers is a pro has an approximate 45 degree angle. And what we'll do is we'll find the angle, and you want to push away from the shoulder to the edge. So lay it flat, approximately 45 degrees, and you just move it, just like that. To sharpen the other side, you flip it over, find the angle, and move it up like this. Oops. There is another way to do this. Again, find the angle turn it this way, and this way you can get the top at the same time. And to sharpen the other side, again just flip it over, find the angle, and move it up. And you'll see that parts of the glue have come off where they're supposed to. So if we have our stone, if it's uh, easier for a person, you can take the stone, a little bit of wet on there still, and find the angle and you can rub the stone this way. The nice thing about diamond stones is you can rub them both ways. Unlike a file which only goes one direction, the diamond can go both ways. I found that my fingerprint ridges do catch on this, but I think I have too many burrs. And there is another way you can do this, and this can also be just a touch up too. Is you take this, it's a super fine uh, diamond stone, I think it's a 1200. And again, you can use it to knock off the larger burrs of what you just did, but one of the things that you have to remember to do when you're sharpening, so you know where you've been, is to darken the edge again uh, with a sharpie. This is very helpful, because sometimes working on these round things, it is a little hard to see. So again, just a dab of water, and find the angle, or like previously, we can take this 
and find the angle and rub it back and forth like that. So, now that we've done that, the step we do is because when I feel it, it is still a little bit burry, is we take this uh, round one, uh, round diamond stone, it's a fish hook uh, sharpener, is what it's commonly known as, and there are burrs on the inside, so what we'll do is we'll just run it around on the inside, and that will knock down all the burrs, and this is really very sharp right now. So one of the things that is helpful is running your tool across a strop. It smooths down all of the burrs. Um, to help you get a smooth cut through your wood is we want to load up our strop. Strops need to have honing powder on them at times or at all times so take a knife and your powder and just scrape it on And what you want to do is make sure that the powder is spread throughout all of your strop. You want your, your whole strop to be useful. And then you just work it in with a knife. And when you go to use the strop, um, again you want to kind of find the angle and just like that. And if you get, this is the blue, the remaining blue coming off. Or the other way that you can do that is to go from shoulder to point. You don't ever want to do from point to shoulder because what you do is you end up gathering up all of your honing material into one spot. So this will smooth down your shoulder so that it will glide smoothly. And when you go to touch it again, it's a very smooth product. So that's how to sharpen a router.